let's see the solution amortization schedule date column opening lease balance then interest at the rate of 16% sometime we call it finance cost and the payment the payment will be the same all four years then the principal paid try to understand this word principal pay you are paying 35740 but in that it includes interest of 16000 so the difference of 35740 and 16000 that is the principal pay so look here your liabilities was 100000 assets you have and you paid only 19740 out of it so the balance Till to pay is 80,026. Now, then comes to 2016. This becomes the opening figure and then interest on it 16%, which is 12,842. And then we make a payment of 35,740. So the principal payment in it is 22,998. Then we have 2017. The closing balance of 16 becomes the opening balance of 17. And then again, interest on 16% of that and making a payment and the principal paid out of it. So the balance remains 30,800. So this 30,800 become the opening of next year. And then the interest on this. Now, if you work it out 16%, exactly you will not get this exact figure. Normally what we do at the last installments, we make adjustments because we are not supposed to pay more than the interest we have to pay. So if it is more or less, we have to adjust it here. And then we paid nil, so balance in nil. Now look here, you add the interest figures, 42,960. You add the lease payments, 142,960. And see the assets value, which is 100,000. So this is amortization schedule. And then the entries in the books of lessee, right of use assets, 142,960 credit lease liabilities. Then we pay at the end of the year lease liabilities, interest expense total and bank account credit. And then we also have depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation expense. Luckily, it's the same figure as we pay for the, the installments because the life is four years and the amount is also coming to the lease and depreciation same, but not necessarily. And plus, we are using the straight line method. There is a possibility, examiner may say, use reducing balance method. So then you should be very careful. Now the income statement. Depreciation expense, finance charges, that is interest charges. Statement of financial position as on December 31st, 2015. Right of use assets, 142,950. Less accumulated depreciation. And then liability side. Non current liabilities and the current liabilities. This is the total liabilities which uh, we have to pay 2016 because we are talking about 2015, so this is for 2016. Thank you very much.